Esther 8.16 La Yehudim hayata ora ve simcha ve sason vikar We've got some uh, kind of a, a joyful verse here for the most part. To the Jews here, notice the Lamed preposition, and then we have the Yehudim. To the Jews there existed, or notice here, feminine singular, feminine singular, feminine singular. So the verb here is the root haya, and this could be something like these things probably serving as the subjects existed to the Jews. So uh, I said these things. We've got here uh, light in the first case, and then we've got here joy. You see the root there, sameach or simcha, joy, light and joy. And then we have here at the bottom another word for joy. This one would be something like uh, maybe exaltation would be a better way to think of uh, sason, uh, exaltation here, loud rejoicing, jubilation, these sorts of things. Then we get the Vav conjunctive here in front of a Yod. Since we have a little bit of time on this shorter video, let's look at this quickly. The word would have been Yekar, and then if we put a conjunctive Vav on the front of that, it would normally point with a vocal schwa. But in this case, where we have two vocal schwas side by side, this is a case where we get what my professor taught me was a schwa fight. And what happens in the schwa fight is the first schwa loses its schwa nature and becomes a short vowel. The second schwa becomes a silent schwa. And then now we actually have the scenario in which the hiric and the yod can become the vowel because this silent schwa represents the absence of a vowel sound altogether anyway. And so we're left then with v car just like we see it here. So a little bit of morphology there while we have the time to look at it. But what we have is light and joy existed to the Jews along with jubilation and honor.